Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Brian H. Waters, Fox Sports 1340, here at the Verizon Center, where the Wizards, woo, 16 times in a row, 16 home consecutive wins for the Wizards as they defeated the Los Angeles Lakers, 116 to 108. John Wall with another outstanding game, elite point guard status. But you know what? Wally, Ray from Urban Sports Seat and Fox Sports 1340, yeah, they do double duty. They're going to bring more of the action and talk to about the game. We also caught up with Bradley Beal, John Wall, and more. Take it over, fellas. Thanks, Brian. I'm Wally. I'm here with my boy Ray. The Wizards won this game 116-108 over the, over the Los Angeles Lakers. This game was sloppy initially. You had the, the, the Lakers, the Wizards, you know, even – up to a big lead, but not great, great quality play. Ray, what was your thoughts of this game? Well, I felt like the Wizards came out slow, but that's to be expected riding a 15-game home winning streak and a five-game winning streak overall. And the league is taking notice. So the Lakers came in and played a hard game. The Lakers aren't as talented as the Wizards, but they they wanted this game. And you, and you can see that. They outworked the Wizards in the, in the third quarter. The Wizards had a 14-point uh, second-half lead, which they nearly gave away, but John Wall closed the game out. He sure did. John Wall hit a clutch bucket with 38 seconds left to put the Laker, to, excuse me, to put the Wizards up 112 to 106. We caught we caught up with with John Wall, Bradley Beal, uh, head coach for the for the Los Angeles Lakers, Luke Walton, and also Nick, former former Laker Nick Young. Former former Laker. Wizard, yeah, former Laker, right? <laughs> former Wizard Nick Young. No, I just try to take it by myself, but also just play the right way. And a couple of shots they just left me open. I was able to knock them down. The same kind of shots I had early in the first half that I was missing. When you guys coached in pregame, man. Play happy, you lose. But if you play confident, you play well. Do you think you guys play a little bit too loose or happy? I guess you'll call it. No, I think quarter. I think just third quarter we kind of uh, got had a couple of turnovers early and missed some shots, and uh, we didn't get back in transition. And those guys are just getting wide open threes and uh, just being there to attack the basket. And they let the, the Lakers fans get into it. Uh, I could stay on the ground for the block. That was all time from the moment he got the ball to to the moment Otto fake reached and allowed me to block it. Do you think it's kind of an escalated day at the end of the day? It don't matter if they did it then, I was going to go get it. <laughs> Can you talk about the, the, the team, the way you guys finished the game? Uh, we did a great job. You know, we all did it. We did it defensively. You know, we they still made some big shots. They made a lot of big plays. Uh, I think we were following a little bit too much, but, you know, we we did a good job just, you know, staying with it through adversity. You know, we didn't play the best game on both ends of the floor, but, you know, we uh, – we got stops when we needed to. You know, we scored the ball when we needed to. Down the stretch. Have a good one. Uh, oh, it, it wasn't really the first half as much as it was the, uh, the second quarter. The second quarter was terrible. Um, we actually came out and played a little better than I thought we would. It's tough. You fly across country like that, and uh, you know, you kind of expect some early sloppiness, and then you expect the guys to, to clean it up. Um, I think it took a little too long to clean it up, but I was proud of the way that we came back in the second half. And really thought we gave ourselves a chance to win against uh, a very good team. Uh, you know, then they, they, you know, John Wall being you know, the player, he has stepped up and made some huge shots. And we had our opportunities. You know, we had Nick for a good look. Uh, I think JC had a good look on the three. A couple fast breaks. Uh, we, you know, we messed up, but. Uh, you know, real proud of the way that we came back and fought. We just have to, you know, we got to continue to grind and, and make that type of energy and that spirit the way that it is, you know, that we come out and play every night. Uh, and, and, and I think we will. Um, but they, uh, you know, the turn, like you said, the, start, the turnovers, that many turnovers on the road, it, it makes it uh, makes it really difficult to win a game. So uh, it's, we got to clean that up before tomorrow. So first, um, how's it feel to be back in the DMV, the team that drafted you? Oh, man, it's always good coming back, you know. I see some old familiar faces of mine. Good. That's cool, cool. Yeah. You were here when John Wall was a rookie. Yeah. How, did you get any growth from him compared to what you had when he was like a young buck here in D.C.? Yeah, he yeah. was doing good. Um, it's like how you finish a game, taking over. When it's time to take over. Yeah. Um, Still being done. You know, doing his thing. Young, this Saturday, the Wizards are playing the, the New Orleans Pelicans. They just beat the New Orleans Pelicans last week, 107 to 94. Ray, what do you think are the keys for that game? Well, you need to go back and review the film. Obviously, the Pelicans are going to come in and try to take advantage of where the Wizards' weaknesses are, which is their bench play. Uh, I believe if you play the starters longer for longer minutes against these Wizards. 
that's a way to wear them down. Um, Trey Burke in particular was not impressive tonight. He's got to step his game up, and I think you got to attack that second unit. Thanks, Wiley. Thanks, Ray. You heard them, Wizards, Pelicans. But where can you find it? Fox Sports 1340 AM.com. All your latest news and updates. Make sure you're following us on Twitter at 1340 AM Fox Sports. Make sure you're following Ray, Urban Sports Ray. Make sure you're following Wiley, Urban Sports Scene. Make sure you follow me at Brian H. Waters. So long, everybody.